Hello everyone, welcome back to Small Rim World. Oh, I think this is going to be a time of recovery. You know, really just a time of trying to keep things okay. What's going on? Something's going on. Someone's, someone's fighting somewhere. I don't see any fighting. Oh, no, we're okay now. Well, Aaron has arrived and joined the colony. A housemate. Aaron. Are you naked? Darn near. You're... You have bloodlust? Oh, that's fun. That's really good. Well... I mean, I don't like the whole social fight thing, but... We're giving you a gun and you can have lots of fun. Cool. So... You have a shiv, and an armor vest, and some meals. That doesn't sound overly fantastic, if I'm being honest. You have decent medical skills, honestly. That's, that's not bad. You're a pretty good cook. We'll go ahead and number one your cooking, so we have more of a dedicated cook. And that ought to do it. Now, you will do mining. You're not very good at it, but you'll do it. But what I want is for you to go mine this little bit right here. So we can see there's a little bit of a, a hole here. I want to see if she can take this out and maybe we can get something good out of it. HP Lovecraft giving us some people to work with. I appreciate it. There is nothing back there. Fantastic. We just have another little bit. whoop de doo <laughs> Oh, uh, I just, I, I keep wanting to open all these up, and it's like, you know, what's back here? What's back here? In the hopes that maybe we'll find something good. Nope. Oh, good, we have hospital beds now. That's very good. Charge shot? Allows you to build a charge rifle. Let's go ahead and pause for a sec. Circuit breakers. Allows building circuit breakers can be placed anywhere on the power network with batteries. Each one's enough to safely dissipate 3,000 watts. And we manually set a trip. So... That would give us, actually, quite a lot of useful stuff. Let's get the Shredder turrets, though. They will be used for inside base defenses versus future infestations. It's been a while since we've had an infestation. I don't want to, to screw ourselves because we don't have an infestation. Alcohol binge? All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, Aaron, housemate. Civilian... Civilian, civilian, malaria block, our, our drugs, alright, don't want anyone to be an alcoholic now, and I'm thinking we start working on like a, a moat complex as well, so again, a time of recovery, but also a time of preparation, so our guns fire out to around here. So what I would like is to have some sort of moat system. You know, make a, a bit of a river. And then a nice uh, nice little section where they are they have to be funneled through. And then in that section would, of course, be, like, chunks, for example. Do you guys have anything in trade? Not as far as I can tell. You're just here, chilling, doing your thing. That's fine. That's acceptable. Let's go and make it extra thick over here as well. We have to take that all the way, though. Now, of course, the the downside to all of this is we we will end up being slowed down by our own defenses, sort of thing. I'm not super concerned about that, though. Yeah, just go ahead and do that. That'll be fine. Because uh, as long as we have our, our own little paths here, we should be just fine. We just have to use the paths that we have. And that means we need to put in probably some walls over here. Although, if they're stuck over here, that's not a bad thing. Same with over here, really. It's not a bad thing if they end up getting like having to walk around this way. It's not really going to be a problem. 
because they won't really have the option to shoot at us. Let's put a wall here, though, so they don't, like, get behind this and then fire out at us. Uh, but what we can do is we could create a dumping zone. And we could put it right here. That's for rotten, fresh chunks. And uh, we could do something in, in between on these little pathways as well, but partially, like, yes, I kind of want to at the same time. No, I don't, because I want to make sure that our people can get through just fine. So I think what I'll do is I'll put it... Uh, we'll do something like that for, again, just chunks. Pretty sure Rotten Fresh doesn't matter too much. In a daze. Of course you are. We'll do the same thing over here. Yeah, that ought to be fine. And yes, that gives them cover. I understand that gives them cover when they come in. But the point is to slow down the melees. Right? Slow down all the brawlers. And to give them really, really crappy cover. So that they'll, they'll come up at well within range of our turrets. They'll get shot up, and that'll be that. I thought we'd flip this switch off. There we go. Jack has gone berserk. Zelly's not in really in any real... Yeah, I mean, you're, you're kind of just... You have to flee. Guillermo, that's not good. Um, uh, Where are you? You're... Maybe you're making stuff. Uh, you're hauling leather. I mean, really, we don't have much of a choice. You are where... You have a shiv. How about you drop the shiv? And then you go melee attack. I feel like maybe going in with the shiv is not the right play here. Twiddle, Susie. You just have to chill. Eric... Mining away. I appreciate it. Don't know what we're going to do with that space, but something. Yeah. All right. Run. Susie can't fight. There we go. Aaron, welcome to the colony. Have fun. Jack, you need to get your butt sat down. Now, uh, one of the other things you can do with uh, this situation here. Jack is reserved by Susie. That's fine. You know what? You two, go there. It's fine. Go do your thing. Uh, one of the things we can do with this, we could also uh, put it in, uh, so it's a wall. Uh, so that we have walls that they can't shoot at us from long range and force the... Uh, force the funnel. That is a, a real possibility. The The biggest issue is, of course, we... If, if we do that, we end up damaging our own walls in the process. And that's not necessarily productive. Sleep off your bruises. Yeah, you're all healed up. In fact, you're just fine. We really need to get more guns. We really do. So, with our... So we can actually build a roof here. So, we don't need it to be no roof. We can actually put a roof over this. Uh, but we have to be careful because we have... Uh, we have windmills in the area. We don't want to mess up the windmills. So, we can build a roof over a little bit of this stockpile just to help preserve it. Uh, but... By and large, the windmills kind of eat up the whole space here. So, uh, we can't build a roof too much over that area. I'm expecting this moat will end up taking just a huge amount of time to build. But, uh, simultaneously, I think it'll end up being good for us when it is done. Guillermo, you're still running around naked. You're eventually just going to collapse. Like, it's just going to happen. I allowed three things. So, Guillermo's no longer in a psychotic state. So, there's that. Yeah, the... The strange meat, that should not be allowed here. 
So no strange meat is allowed here because it's, that's not cookable. Uh, but the raw meat is. Which is not the strange meat. So we need to move the strange meat back and move the, the other meats up there like venison. We can actually use venison. Does anyone actually need a butcher? Yeah, that's what I thought. Because I, I, I remember there was a an evil thing. A timber wolf. And a tortoise. How'd the timber wolf die? Okay, pause, please. Tortoise! Tortoise went ape shit and killed a timber wolf. That's fun. And tortoise looks like it'll be just fine. Barely even gonna worry about it. Bear is, of course, just fine as well, but hey, we got a timber wolf. It's fantastic. We really need to work on our power situation. Work on those shredder turrets. If we're gonna have more shredder turrets, we're gonna need more power, and that means we really need this geothermal to be finished. Is there anything else to butcher? Okay, good. That's fine. Yeah, go sleep, Levin. You've done your job. Well done. We have a little bit of wolf meat. I'm happy about that. All right, Jack, Zelly. You're fine. Major flu. Yeah. Equip the your gun. You're going to go back to here. All right. Next treatment is in 11 hours. You'll be fine. I'm not worried about you. But we do need to really kind of work on our power situation a little bit better because I think until we get our geothermal set up, we're just not going to have power, which is why I wanted these guns to be turned off for now because it's just... It's not needed. We don't need to have them on so long as we are not under attack, you know? Good, yes. Eat your meals. Grab all your meals. We're making making some good stuff here. Fine meals and simple meals. Just grab them and go do some fun stuff. We have a, tr a prosthesis trader coming by. So, I, Well, no, Guillermo. You're the one that's the trader, right? Yeah, your social's 18. Your social's actually decaying. Why? I don't know. But apparently it decays. Okay, well, let's get rid of the wooden stuff. Hook hand, I'm pretty sure, is steel. Dentures, I think dentures can be made with wood. Can all this be made with wood? Hang on. Just stay put there, Guillermo. Basic prosthetics. So the hook hand... Uh, it doesn't really specify. It could be made out of, okay, steel. Wooden foot, obviously, is wooden. Dentures is wooden. Okay. So, we want to get rid of the denture and the peg leg. Get some cash and the foot. And that would push us over a thousand. We don't really need anything in here. Obviously, a lot of it would be great to pick up. You know, brain stimula stimulator, fantastic. Bionics, always good. We could even have some ribs, and I think Jack is missing a rib, but we don't have that much money, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so I think we could buy one Glitter World medicine, which is fine and great, but I think we'll just pass. We'll just take the money and run away with it. So, thanks for the cash. Enjoy our our odd wooden products as best as you can. And double check. This is a build roof area. It is. That's what I thought. Now, what if we clear it? Okay. Yeah, it's just fine. It overrid the no roof area. Just no one's going to build over here. And that's fair. I mean, they're not building a lot of things. There's a lot of things that need to be built that are not being built. I appreciate Spiffy's efforts, though. I mean, really making everything nice and clean. I'm I'm happy about that. Apparently, that's not home. There you go. Now it's home. Um, this is this is not home because I don't want to have to worry about like dirt over here or fire. Slate wall is not going to burn to death, so who cares, you know? There. Better? I think that helps. We'll just expand our home area out to here for now and call it good. 
Okay. We just, we need stuff to be built right now. We need stuff to be built and hauled. We're having meals. We got some really good meal production right now. I'm happy about that. We got a lot of simple meals. So I'm happy that we're seeing some meals actually being produced. That's, that's a big thing. But... We need other things, you know? We need more than just meals. Jack, how you doing? You have immunity to flu. Zelly also has immunity. Good. Very good. In fact, I was going to say, if you want, you can go to your own bed, but whatever. He's just going to stay there tonight. So much power needed. And I knew that we would we would need more power as soon as I started building more of these lights, but what else? Uh, the, it's not really that big of a deal. Let's unforbid all. Six things. It's probably all Tweedle stuff. You done? No, Tweedle's still not done. Kind of almost want to like shoot Tweedle in the leg and then drag her back. It's like, stop being an idiot. Although of all the places to break, I suppose this is the one of the better ones. Ay ay ay. Okay, let's smooth this. Just so it looks a little bit nicer right here. Just smooth that out. We'll end up wanting to smooth most of the stones inside the base. Just for now, we'll just start with that. We can also remove over here. So they added in a remove floor option, which is huge. Poison shit again? Uh, oh, you're kidding. It's right there. That's awful. Okay, Zelly, yes. Absolutely build the geothermal. Glad you're doing it. Thank you. Okay. Now that should be hooked up. Yeah, power conduit. So that should be hooked up. Let's flick these on. As much as I hate it. We need to. Alright, so that's on. Spiffy. I mean... It's kind of not the, the best thing for you to do. But yes, Zelly, hey, where are you going? Jack, please just finish building these. This need to be built right now. All right, that helps. And then moat, yeah, moat is good. We do need to destroy this poison ship, though. But I just wanted to make sure our geothermal is secure before we did anything else. The last thing we need is for the geothermal to just die, you know? That would kind of be counterproductive. But all right, we should have some good power production 24-7 coming out of this geothermal. It produces 3,600. You know, that's that's really top-notch power production. So here's hoping for it. Oh, right, you're finishing the power conduit for the future. That's fine. You do that. Is this power con... Wait a minute. It is not connected. No, it is. It is connected. There's a, a whole power system right through the wall. It is connected. Okay. We're good. It's fine. Yeah, well, of course it's connected because these are hooked up. Duh. Of course it's connected. I feel like the geothermal is putting out more than, like, one full, really, one full wind turbine. Spiffy. To Medbay. Levin. To Medbay. Spiffy. I said go. Susie. Let's get in here. Oh my. Oh, not again. The last time this happened, we got screwed. Oh, this is so bad because we have a turret outside that it is on. Okay, hang on. Flip. Susie, where are you? Jose, you're right there. You're actually further away. Aaron, flick the switch, turn off the turrets so it doesn't, you know, explode. And then we got to lock the doors and stay inside. Now, remember, our mortars are inside our base, so we could still destroy the poison ship. And 
it might be a good idea to bomb the poison ship and see if the the boom rats will fight the poison ship. Although that's highly unlikely given that we're not going to be able to bomb the poison ship before the boom rats pass it by. Like, the boom rats are going to hop up into here before we get to do super much. We're in a rough situation. But first we have to make sure that our turrets are offline. That's the top priority. Turn off the turrets. After that, we'll see. Spiffy! Ugh. Okay, Jack. No, Susie's gonna get in there, it's fine. But Jack, you're so close to breaking, that's not a, a good thing either. But I need you to man this mortar, and then we'll, we'll fire on the poison ship, and we'll see what happens. Soon as this switch is done, though, we gotta get inside. But that'll do it, guys. We're leaving on that note, so that's exciting. Got a, a pretty nasty situation here, but we'll see what happens. Oh. All we need is a raid, just to, like, land right on the boom mat, boom rats. That'd be exciting. Just a, a whole massive war inside of our base, and then come outside and clean up the rest of the mess. But for now, that'll have to do it. So, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Best thing you can do for the channel is share the video on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. Thank you to Amphid and Sam I am for being Patreon supporters. And thank you to everyone who watched the ads. I will see you all next time with more RimWorld Cthulhu. HP Lovecraft is a jerk. But that's okay. <laughs> thanks for watching and DFTBA.